stand over at another key international forum, the UN Security Council in New York. Member states are holding an open debate on the Middle East, and that is not unusual. But the context is, just weeks after the U.S. assassination of Iran's top general, and with the Iran nuclear deal rapidly falling apart, now just yesterday, Iranian officials warning the Security Council not to take up the issue. Our Mike Wagenheim is there at the U.N., and Mike, with that deal falling apart, perhaps Israel sees an opportunity to better make its case there at the U.N. Yeah, the case being made, not through assassinations, not additional sanctions, but following the money and trying to choke off Tehran's ability to spread their financial resources throughout the Middle East. You, uh, Israeli ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Danon, addressing the Security Council, which meets once every month. Uh, Danon saying that Tehran is spending $7 billion annually to spread its money throughout the Middle East to encourage terrorist activity. He calculated $4 billion billion dollars a year going to Syria, another billion to Hezbollah, the remainder in places like Gaza and Yemen. And he says now that Tehran is focusing more and more efforts on spreading terrorist activity, not just in Gaza, but in the West Bank, in Judea and Samaria as well. Danone saying that it's just not good enough anymore to talk. The Security Council has talked about it for a long time, even with the European countries now talking about applying more sanctions to Tehran as they continue to roll back their obligations. Uh, within that uh, quickly falling apart nuclear accord, they have to choke off that money coming out of Tehran, up to Iraq, down through Yemen, and around to Damascus, and finally to Hezbollah. It's got to end if Iran's terrorist activities throughout the Middle East are going to end. That's according to Israeli Ambassador Danny Danone today at the Security Council. Mike, and you just alluded to it. At the same time, we've seen a pretty unusual sparring between the EU and Iran. Now, the EU is usually sort of on top of trying to preserve the nuclear deal, they triggered that part of the deal that essentially acknowledges officially that Iran is not sticking to it, and that could end up with consequences right there at the UN. No doubt whatsoever. This has really been one of those things that has spent, uh, uh, consumed so much time here at the United Nations over what the past five, six, seven years now is the Iran nuclear accord. It's been the focus of so many Security Council meetings. It's been the focus of so many uh, meetings within uh, other committees here at the UN is trying to formulate and trying to keep intact this nuclear accord. And the Europeans have been front and center in trying to not only piece it together, but keep it together. If they back out, now, but well, there's not much left. Now you're going to into emergency mode. Instead of trying to find ways to keep it together, now you're trying to find ways to avoid all-out war because the closer Iran gets uh, to a bomb, and uh, Israeli officials now saying it could be just two years or less, well, the closer that Israel and other countries vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis Iran say they're going to have to take action. And that was Danny Danone's point today at the UN Security Council is not going to take action. Danone said straight out, Israel will. What exactly that means, what exactly the timetable is, Danon obviously wouldn't speculate, but it's only a matter of time. All right, Mike Wagenheim at the UN in New York. Thanks very much for that.